Hello and welcome to my channel, Lady Green Thumb 2. My name is Priya and the date today is April the 29th, but by the time this video is uploaded to YouTube, it will most likely be the end of May or the beginning of June. I'm going to go around and show you what my balcony looks like. There's been a lot of wind and you'll see that I have a lot of damage or I have a planter that's on the ground and broken and this is the most likely the third time that this has happened I'm going to go ahead and move that to a different uh, part of the patio because the way the wind comes in it hits that corner that it was on the most so for most of the video you will see me working away at clearing that up and setting it up in a different area possibly. I'll do a time lapse to show in a good position where you can see the entire patio and what I'm doing to clear it and make it a little bit more inviting so we can sit out here on a beautiful evening or even early in the morning especially when it gets starts getting hot here in Texas. These are the remaining stumps. And I'll be adding more soil for watering these uh, planters in, watering these trays in because uh, they are pretty light and uh, that's why they are wilting a little bit. Excuse me. So the, there's about six peppers. And then this is a cyan basil that's left over. I put it in two pots because I'm going to share it out. And then this is uh, bitter melon, bitter melon, and lufa back there. And then a whole bunch of different tomatoes, including back there. Uh, that pot there has uh, tomatillo, tomateo, that is a uh, purple variety. And then this is what the wind has created, all this chaos. This is the planter that has come down. The stand, it's a bird cage, a decorative one. And you can tell that it's all cracked. The plants that were in here do not look good at all. So it looks like I lost a hot pepper tomato variety being spoon and a basil, which is a very tiny basil here and you will see me working away at clearing, clearing this out. What I did a few weeks ago is actually plant in each of the planters here, one, two, and then there's a third one over there. Let's focus here. Is I added in each of those pepper, tomato, and basil. So they're tucked away in various areas in each of the pots. I can show you quickly that this is one pepper over here. And the pepper in this one is here. Tomato is here in this pot. Let me go back here. I'm sorry to be going back and forth, but I cannot see the tomato yet in this pot. Hopefully will make it so it's just hiding somewhere under protection because the wind has been so fierce and then this planter here is a pepper tomato and one basil left right over here it's very tiny I'm not sure if it's gonna make it or not but you'll notice that I have a bin here and since I'm gonna be out of town for an extended period of time. I'm doing a capillary action watering system here. I got this off of Amazon and I will link it in the description of this video of where I got that from. Essentially has a, a clay type cone at the bottom of this contraption here. One part of it goes into the pot and you have to make sure that the soil is wet that it, it, that it was working 
thing is I did mark it up with a sharpie on um, on this side here. You can't see it because of the angle. It was up to here when I put it in a week ago, and it has gone down about two inches. So I know that this one is working. That was the this is the first experiment or the first setup that I tried, and then I had gotten the, a tub making sure that there was a lid that would keep it closed and one was attached to this planter here that you can tell it's out and by the way this is what it looks like live it's all dried up it's the water because uh, it's not in the soil anymore but there's one in this planter and this planter and it looks like this one is also going down I can open it up and show it was Sharpie mark is very, very faint, but it was up here and it has gone down about half an inch. So it looks like this may be working, but the true test will be when I come back to see if they're still alive. I will be getting some help to get watering, top watering into these planters, but uh, see what happens. time. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy gardening.